The wave of Swaraj that started with Congress's session of 1906 had spread across the country by 1916. And with the advent of the Home Rule League in 1916, there emerged a nationalist and inspirational Congress leader, Lokmanya Bal Gangadhar Tilak. A true heavyweight, he refused to cower before British tyranny and proudly stated, "Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it." In 1916, Both Lokmanya Tilakji and Annie Besant established Home Rule Leagues, and this year is therefore remembered as an important step in the direction towards Home Rule. The Home Rule movement from 1916 also infused an aggressiveness in the Indian freedom struggle that had not come until then. However, while the movement may have been aggressive in nature, it did not believe in the use of weapons or violence. For Lokmanya Tilak's movement too was rooted in non-violence. He made small groups to propagate home rule across India and to educate people about Swaraj. The growing popularity of Lokmanya Tilak ji filled the British with trepidation. As the ultimate aim of the Home Rule League was achieving Swaraj, just like that of Congress, it was natural that the Home Rule League merged into Congress and joined it on the path to winning freedom for India as Congress's strength and influence grew in the Indian subcontinent. However, even before the merger, Gandhi ji had served as the president of the Indian Home Rule League. The Home Rule movement gave a clear message to the British that if Indians decided to come together, they could achieve anything. Even today, we must take inspiration from Lokmanya Tilak's nationalism, where nation takes precedence, where the progress and development of our countrymen, their brotherhood and happiness always comes first congress emerged as the flag bearer of this same brand of nationalism from where india's dreams of being independent could be realized jai hind